Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, WBF. So, this is going to be a bit confusing for some of you. Um, so basically, I have been um, struggling with the collision, or conflict, sorry, between the Drive Control mod and the Hireable Tools mod. Um, some of you guys did state that that was the cause and um, I think it was Friday. I tried to record a video and um, the conflict kept on happening time and time over again I couldn't, I had to keep on restarting the game and it just didn't make for anything very entertaining um, so I decided to scrap that footage and start over refresh so what I basically did in that video was hire the Deut, um and that's just to use that um, cultivator on and just to um, sort of follow up behind this the, the plowing tractor um, so we've got this field done I'm gonna quickly move over 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 <laughs> over to the, um, the rape field which is just next door and then we can um, let that guy finish we'll do the headlands but, um, but yeah I was going to sort of carry that video on but thinking back over the footage which which was um, recorded it just I wouldn't be happy with putting it out um, on the channel so I decided to just scrap it and, and start over so, so this is, I think this is episode 10 um, so we're just gonna quickly turn this over start from this end and we'll work down the hill so I have um, removed drive control mod, as you can see, so, oh, down from the bottom. So we'll see how well this goes. Hopefully this little uh, puma can pull this plow up the, the hill. We'll soon find out. It's going to turn that way. No, when you're turning that way. Okay. Uh, the, I've been this, um, Oh, we're just going to drift a bit. This, um... I think I spoke about this in the last episode, actually. About the, um... Dynamic terrain, or whatever it is. Dynamic am um, angle terrain thing. Whichever it is that makes it so that, like, the seeding or the plowing textures um, all sort of curve and stuff like that. And, um... And... It, it makes it so that hired workers, you can hire them at a at sort of at any angle, so you can look at whichever way you basically face it. Um, the hired worker will work in that angle, and it I just really dislike it. You just want them to go in a straight line, and if one um, does something wrong and you need to correct it, it's just it just doesn't line up or anything. And as you can see, the plowed textures when it when it when it tracks the slides, it looks terrible. Right, leave him to do what he's doing. This guy is doing well. Have his little cultivator on. I set this guy on the biggest field so that he can just we can just leave him, <laughs> and uh, while the other fields are getting done. This guy's down here. Plant her in there. But yeah, um, we hired this Deut, um Put the weight on the front and I pretty much drove him to the field. That's all. That's all that basically you guys missed. I actually really like the Deutz.
a nice powerful tractor. Yeah, all these fields we are now um, preparing are going to go into sugar beet and then um, hopefully soon we'll be doing the second half of the harvest and all of those fields will be going back into um, barley and oiled seed rape. So we're going to go around the headlands to finish this off. By that time, hopefully the little New Holland will um, will have got pretty far, I'm hoping. So we can go around the headland on that field. And then maybe even set, um, set one of them going on, on the little, little field. The really small fields I'm not going to bother um, doing anything with because they're literally too small to do anything. Oh. Gate has a collision. collision that sticks out slightly. Not just my bad driving. <laughs> yeah, hopefully there shouldn't be any more complications. Um, now that the drive control mod has been removed. Hopefully, it will. It will just. Um, we can just play. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't have any more problems. We're going to need quite a, a lot of root crops. Um, because it doesn't sell for the best price and the rental cost of the, uh, the sugar beet itself um, the equipment, the harvester is extremely high so we're going to need to do quite a bit of it to make a profit and also um, our Beef and pigs need um, need the the sugar beet, so hopefully it'll work out so that we get a bit of profit and we can use a certain percentage of the the crop that we that we grow for the production of our our soon to arrive pigs and cows. I, I'm actually really looking forward to doing a bit of that. Um, I've never done it before so it's, it's something new I guess. So when we come to drill it we shall leave um, quite a bit of a gap so that the harvester can turn around. Um, with my previous experience of using the, <laughs> the big self-propelled harvester um, you need a lot of space and our little um, grass headlands <laughs> around the around the edge of the field is not going to be enough I don't think so I'm definitely going to need to, to do that okay I think the um, 
the sugar bee actually works on the self-propelled drill so I'm pretty sure that these little misfits will all get um, will all get cultivated and drilled when it comes to it so I'm not too worried about the, the really small misfits it's just this chunk here and a chunk over on that corner that you need to get I wanted to give um, Cosplay a go at some point, cultivating these fields. I've never used co um, Cosplay to cultivate or do any groundwork. Um, I've seen Landy kids use it quite a lot, but I've always been put off with doing it because it seems to leave like bits in the when it turns around the headland. Um, but if you guys know if you know if there's a way to fix that or if that was just something. Um, was happening by mistake then do tell me um, because oh, it could save quite a bit of time if it does it all in one job on a hard worker rather than me going around after fixing it like this um, well, a few comments asking about which mod I use to um, sort of leave a headland and that is a friend of mine converted the oh, friend of mine converted the horrible tools mod um, I think it's actually available on uh, a modding website somewhere, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, um, that's what it's, that's what it's called, uh, Horrible Tools. Okay, so we'll go have a look how the, the little New Holland is doing. See if he's anywhere close to being finished. Oh, he's, he's going quite far. He's not doing bad at ever. At ever? At. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Words are getting unmodded up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll see what we can do in here, we'll see what mess we can make. I'm just going to quickly check on the case. Hmm, okay, so that hasn't actually got very far. I think I'm actually gonna unhire him. And I'm not gonna bother plowing uh, in front. need to put some fuel in this as well. Okay, he's happy enough, so we'll we'll have a look at setting up this. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look at it. If it if it seems a, a bit too complicated, then <laughs> we'll forget about it. But. Um, field work. Uh, lane offset. Tool offset. Ain't none of that. Build jet path. Work whip. Corner. Start direction. Okay, I get it. 
So three, and then isn't it like a, a button to bring up like a map or something like that? Toggle map view. Looking at snow. Um. Hmm. Okay, well we'll just we'll just go up, I don't know. We'll just press the start, see what he does. Oh, okay. It's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Dark corner, southwest. How on earth do we know which one to switch? Okay, so let's start in the. Let's just use that one. Start direction. North or west? Let's just let's go north. Uh, field jet path. What field is this? Field 7. Field 7. Turn the force. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you guys have to let me know about that. Um, that seems really, really complicated. <laughs> but um, we'll just do it ourselves. It's not a problem. And um, we might cut away in sections here. I'm not too sure how long the video has gone on for so far. But um, I really, d we really do need to get this field work done and harvest started, or the second half of harvest started okay so I think I'll just let him work away. I'll keep an eye on the New Holland. I actually think I'm going to stop the video here. I'm not too sure lot how long it's been going on for. Um, but yeah, it, we're just basically doing field work and a lot of that at once is really <laughs> um, quite boring. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully there won't be any problems from now on. Um, Please do let me know about the course play, how to work that. Um, I just think that'd be quite handy. And I'll see you all in the next video.